morning. If it is morning where you are at or while you're watching this, good morning. And if it's afternoon, good afternoon. But right now it is good evening, so I'm going to be respectful and adhere to my environmental conditions and say good evening. What's popping, y'all? Happy Friday. Just saying Friday right now and knowing that I do not have to work tomorrow kind of feels really good right now. Like, I needed that breath of fresh air. Because, y'all, this week has just been a week. Like, it was just a week. You know those weeks when it just feels overwhelming? And in some cases, you know why, but sometimes you don't. But it's just like... I just need this week, just this period of time to be done, to be finished, okay? That's what this week was for me. So, thank you for joining me again. Had to get all of that out. It's out. I'm done. I promise. To those of you that are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie, and here I talk about life, life lessons, holistic remedies, health, fitness, anything. Uh, I'm just on a journey and whatever I learn on this journey, I, I feel as though it would be beneficial to others because I don't think I'm the only person who's going through these struggles. If I am, well, y'all don't learn today. <laughs> um, how are you guys? How are you guys feeling? Let me know, talk to me. This is, I'm a human, I'm a person. I'm out here just trying to make it like y'all, and I'm here to listen. Sometimes it is better to listen than to be heard. How was y'all week? What's going on with you guys? Let me know in the comments. Chat to me. Message me if you need the private message, whatever it looks like for you. But let me know what's going on in your head. If you have any ideas of what you want me to talk about or if you want my viewpoint or something. Or maybe you just kind of just want to throw some pointers out there. I accept it all. I'm appreciative of all. Uh, I just appreciate you guys sticking with me. For those of you that have been here from the very first raggedy video that I posted. <laughs> Um, thank you, thank you for just kind of bearing with me during the season of when I was trying to fight what God was telling me to do. That's a topic for another time. But I am introducing a new segment. Um, but this segment, which will happen probably once or twice a week, it's going to be called Brutal Honesty. But it really is just going to call and attack some insecurities, some fears, some doubts, some worries. Listen, I'm going to talk to myself, but I'm going to talk to y'all too. I am coming to your house like I had to come to my own. Like, this isn't, going, this isn't to be pretty. It's not to be nice. It is literally to keep it 100 with you guys and areas that I know I've struggled with. And areas where I know I babied myself with. Because if y'all didn't know, we baby ourselves in areas. So, as an opener, today I was having a conversation with my mom. I was having a conversation with multiple people today. But the conversation with my mom kind of tipped it over for me. To where I felt, okay, cool. This is the first topic that I have to do when it comes to this particular segment or set of videos that I'll be posting and we were talking about comfort in particular we were talking to a specific situation however it amazed me how com how comfy we are with being comfy how easy it is for us to lie in complacency because it feels nice and it's, it feels like what we're used to and that goes for anything I know for me, I have that comfort area of food in some cases. Like, I know I should be eating better. There's no doubt about it. But I'm so comfortable in my eating habits because it's easier, because it's attainable, because, hey, it's cheaper. Let's let's be honest here. Like, eating healthy is expensive. Like, y'all walked in the Whole Foods lately. Like, but... I know better like as a person who has studied herbs who is a herbalist I am all for holistic remedies and healthy eating I know better 
why can't I do better? And in this moment of being brutally honest and providing you guys with some brutal, brutal honesty, how many of us are comfortable in our eating habits? Comfortable in being lazy? Comfortable in spending what we spend? Knowing we don't have to budget. We should budget. It's recommended to budget. If we're trying to reach a certain goal, we need to budget. But we ought not to. I see something I want it, so let's buy it. Comfort in our relationship. Comfortable with that person, knowing that person isn't good for you, but you're staying with them because that's what you know. You're allowing yourself to be complacent. You may think, hey, you know, what this person has, it's not pushing me, propelling me towards God, towards purpose, but yet I'm still here. Why? Are you really that comfortable? Is it really that familiar? As I begin to kind of just reflect on it, and personally, like, I keep it real, there has been many times where I've just been comfortable. I've been in that little bubble where, for me, I knew what it was. I, I knew what I was doing. It was that familiar territory. Once I step out that familiar territory, now I have to readjust. Now I have to adapt. I don't want to do that. Will it benefit me in the long haul? Like, will this take me to levels I never would have thought of? Absolutely. But the risk that it takes, the unfamiliarity that it has, do I really want to go through that? Sometimes we settle with comfort because it feels better than dealing with something that we're not familiar with. Or maybe starting over. Maybe if you leave that relationship, you actually have to start from scratch. And you've already invested five years with that person, so why am I going to give up the five years that I put in to go start over with somebody else? I don't know who I'm talking to, but just to let you know, boom, maybe that person wasn't for you. <laughs> maybe you were a stepping stone to who they should really be with. Maybe they were a stepping stone to who you should be really with. Maybe we're comfortable in a job. We know they don't pay all what we deserve and all what we're worth. But, you know, the, the people around us, they cool. We kind of have it like that. It's easy. The job, I'm in my zone. Like, it doesn't take much. I'm comfortable. Keep it real with yourself if you're comfortable. Because if you're trying to figure out why I cannot elevate... Growth and comfort cannot lie in the same place. <laughs> kind of like how water and oil, when you put them together, you will see the separation. The same with growth. They will never, ever blend together. Because if you are growing, when you're growing, you're automatically going into unfamiliar territory. You're automatically taking a risk. You're automatically going to be uncomfortable. So if you want elevation, decide if you want comfort or growth. Like, determine whether you just are okay with staying where you are or you really want to take it there. Because if you really have that conversation with yourself, just like I have that conversation with myself, I tell myself, you're comfy, too comfy. So if you want to be too comfy, cool. Just don't expect to go nowhere higher, no further. And that's the God honest truth. And so I encourage all of you guys to truthfully assess yourselves. Like I assess mine. And this is a daily thing. This isn't something that you just do for the one time. Chuck up your deuces like, hey, I did it. And I got better in one area. No, nah, this is this is something that probably is going to need to be applied in many areas. Figure out whether you really want to be better than you are today and go to higher heights than you are at right now. And whether you are okay with not being comfortable.